I encourage Armenia to continue on this path towards strengthening its democratic institutions, to promote transparency, to root out corruption, to respect human rights and the rule of law, including the right for free speech and press. You are, President, on the right track, even if there is still a lot of work ahead. We are prepared to support you. The stronger the commitment to pursue genuine reform and to uphold universal values, the more you will be able to count on the European Union in accordance with the more for more principle. In this regard, I am happy to announce that the EU has decided to top up its annual support to Armenia by 50 million euros for 2012 under the Eastern Partnership Integration and Cooperation. Progress on the settlement of the Nagorno-Karabakh conflict should remain a top priority. It is with great concern that we take note of recent reports of serious armed incidents on the border between Armenia and Azerbaijan and the line of contact. I deeply regret the loss of lives and my sympathy lies with the families of those who have suffered the loss of relatives and loved ones. I repeat what has been said earlier by the European Union and was stated by the co-chairs of the Minsk Group at the G20 meeting just a few days ago to both Armenia and Azerbaijan. Both need to take decisions in order to reach a lasting and peaceful settlement based on the Madrid principles. Both Armenia and Azerbaijan need to fully implement the commitments made by their presidents in the framework of the OECE Minsk Group. Both sides should also strictly respect the ceasefire and exercise restraint on the ground and refrain from hostile rhetoric in public statements. The EU stands ready to support any confidence building and reconciliation efforts. We have both the means and the experience to do so. And the appointment of Ambassador Lefort as the new EU Special Representative for the South Caucasus and the crisis in Georgia shows the increasing commitment of the European Union.